Today we are starting a new segment. It'll run once a week and it's called Come Have Dinner with the Two of Us. It's a meal that we're gonna make easy enough for two people. So we're gonna get started today. I am going to be making air fryer chicken. You can even pop this in the oven. I'll tell you how to do that. We're gonna saute up some broccoli. Now Thomas was gonna have his chicken with salad, but he tossed it when he found out I was going to make some stuffing to go with our chicken. We're gonna get started first off with the broccoli so we can go ahead and get that sauteing and then we'll start the chicken because it's gonna to come together pretty quickly. We're gonna take these two bunches of broccoli and we're gonna cut them down into florets. So I'm gonna cut wherever I see the stem that's attached to the big stalk here. So I'm still going to be making our regular videos like desserts, one pots, casseroles, and things like that. But we wanna show you what we do at night when it's just the two of us and we don't want a big casserole dish. Okay, I'm gonna cut these into quarters, just kind of bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna be cooking the broccoli in just a deep skillet. We're gonna put it on a medium heat. I'm gonna add in half a cup of water. We're gonna get some flavor going for our broccoli. And then I'm just gonna take about a teaspoon of Better Than Bouillon. This is the roasted chicken. We'll add that. I'm just gonna take my whisk here. All right, we're gonna blend this together until it's all melted. Okay, we got it nice and combined. Now, if you don't have the Better Than Bouillon, you can also do a half a cup of chicken broth. It just flavors your broccoli, which I'm gonna be adding in. We're gonna place the lid on. We're just gonna let it low simmer while we're working on our chicken and cooking the chicken and it'll come together. Now keep an eye on your level of liquid in the pan. If you need to add more, you can certainly add more. Just make sure that you season it with some bouillon or make sure it's just some broth. We're gonna start getting our chicken tenders together. Chicken tenders always have that little tendon and I always like to pull those off because I don't like to eat my chicken with that on there. So I'm gonna show you really quick how you can take those off. Now there's the tendon right there. I like to put my fork through it, take a piece of paper towel, grab the tendon, and then you're gonna pull until you pull that tendon out. Okay, we're gonna start seasoning up our chicken. Now, you can cook your chicken in the air fryer or you can even cook it in the oven. Now, when I start doing the directions for the air fryer, I'll give you directions for the oven. First thing we're gonna do is take our chicken tenders. We're just gonna put some oil in a little bowl, some olive oil or avocado oil, and we're gonna coat our chicken. We're gonna coat both sides of the chicken. This will help adhere our seasoning mix that we're gonna put on it. Turn it over and then we'll coat the other side. And I think I'm having three pieces and Thomas said he's having four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're lucky I'm not having more. I know. Okay. Y'all don't have to eat out all the time. You can make simple meals with lots of flavor, really simple in your kitchen. And when I say simple, I mean simple. We have this package of air fryer garlic parmesan. It's a spice blend. Sounds so delicious. Who doesn't love parmesan and garlic? But you can get any other flavor that you want if you want to try something different. We're going to hang on to this because it's got directions for the air fryer on it. Okay, I'm going to shake that around. Okay, I'm gonna bring my basket to the air fryer over, or you can bring a sheet pan and line it with nonstick parchment, or you can, um, well, it's already got oil on it, so it shouldn't stick too much to a pan. So we're just gonna take a fork, take our chicken tender. We're gonna place it into the seasoning blend, get it nice and coated. And we're gonna shake it off, and we're gonna place it into our air fryer basket.
Now this one packet coated seven chicken tenders, or they say that you can use this for three boneless chicken breasts if you wanna do that also. Now the oven directions are on the back of the air fryer package also, and you would create it just like I did here. Then you would place your chicken on your foil lined baking pan sprayed with nonstick cooking spray, bake at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. Now for the air fryer, we're gonna place it in 350 degrees and we're gonna put it in for about 12 to 15 minutes. I always like to start at the 12, check it, and then move on to the 15 if I need to. Let's make the stuffing. I'm just following the simple instructions on the side of the package. We're gonna bring one and a half cups of water and two tablespoons of butter to a boil. Got one, two, Hey, if y'all have ideas for simple dinners, let us all know. We love quick and simple at night. All right, we're gonna add in that right there, the stuffing mix. We got the bread, the seasonings, and there's broth in there also. And the bread is a cornbread. What you wanna do, stir this till it's well combined and all the liquid is gone. We're gonna turn off the heat. We're gonna place the lid on it. Let it sit for about five minutes or until your meal is ready. Okay, it's 12 minutes. Look at how golden those look. We're gonna take a thermometer into it. Yes, they're done. Got our sauteed broccoli. We've got our cornbread stuffing. Look at that, yum. And we've got our Parmesan garlic chicken in the air fryer, or you can put it in the oven. Let's plate it up. I'm gonna give it a try for you. There's our dinner. Here's my fork. Let's go in. Look at that bite of chicken. Here's my bite. Mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Wow, nice and tender. I love those flavorings, the garlic and the Parmesan together. Mmm, blows it out of the water. Mmm, wow. If y'all don't have better than bouillon, you need to get some. And we got that stuffing. I know it's from a box, but let me tell you, it does something to a dinner plate. <laughs> All right, give us a thumbs up on this one. Thomas is behind the camera. Say something to these guys. There he is right there. <laughs> He's ready for his plate. Okay, you guys, let us know what you think of our segment. Come and eat dinner with the two of us. Meals for two. We thought we would kind of separate it out for y'all. All right, you guys, make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you're always notified when shows like this one here are posted. We'll see y'all on the next episode. Bye.